last week i did a video of nigerian celebrities who were completely broke and cynthia morgan was among the least and many people were asking me what really happened to cynthia morgan that they almost forgotten her but don't worry just few hours ago she spoke about what really happened to her as she begged for help after many years of being broke so before we get into the video if you are new to the channel please click on the red subscribe button to subscribe to my youtube channel and turn on the bell notification icon to be notified anytime I drop new videos. Follow me on Instagram at Ejimozi, E J I M O Z Y. I'm always active on Instagram. Just follow me there. So let's get right into the video. The number one reason why Cynthia Morgan stopped singing was that she changed her name. Cynthia Morgan changed her name to Madrina and that affected her brand because a lot of people identified her and know her as Cynthia Morgan. The second reason was that she was ill. According to Cynthia Morgan on her recent Instagram live, she said that she was sick for six months. So many people thought that she had been in rehab but she said that she wasn't doing drugs. I took it ill actually. I was really sick. Oh, you took it ill? Yeah. How come nobody knew about that? Nobody knew about that for I, I think I'm a really private person, I think. The third reason is that aside from being sick, Cynthia Morgan had a mental breakdown as a result of depression for not being able to achieve her life goal as she planned it to be. The fourth reason that made Cynthia Morgan stop singing is that she doesn't want to sign to any record label. You know, when she had issue with her former record label, she decided to stop anything record label and focus more on partnership, you know. And since then, she has not been able to find any good or reliable partner to work with. And this affected her career to the extent that she exhausted all her resources that she had to put in to make more music. Although she released the song, I could remember she released the song titled Billion Dollar Woman with the name Madrina, you know. I think things just didn't work out the way she planned it. Her name, her complexion, and her red wig was taken away from her by her record label owner, Jude Okoye. You all know that she was signed to Northside Record Label, owned by P Square elder brother, Jude Okoye. Actually, she had issue with her record label that led to her change of name and all of that. She has come out to talk about it, which I will share all the videos here. Enjoy the rest of the video. Why, you know, why change a name everybody around the world knew you into something new? Well, um, first and first, um, um, in 2017, um, my deal with Northside mm -hmm. was supposed to end in 2018. Okay. But in 2017, I think, I don't know what really happened. He wanted me to sign um, a new contract. Okay. And um, the first three years of my career was like, wasn't really, I wasn't happy. Oh, okay. And, um, you know, they made me do a lot of stuff that I didn't really want to do, and um, I wanted to be on my own. Okay. Or it's either I be on my own, or we come to like um, an understanding. Okay. But I don't think it was really ready for that, so um, that was the reason. So when I decided, he was like, I needed to sign a new contract. Yes, on the on the same label. On the same label. Okay. On the thirty of my career, and okay. I hadn't even exhausted like the contract hadn't. I wasn't done with my contract oh, right. and um, so it wasn't working for me okay so um, so I decided to to leave okay um so he decided to you know whatever he wanted to be he said from what he's saying actually I should sue for what they did okay. so I didn't have enough you know my I wasn't really ready for that mentally mm -hmm. I just wanted to move on so that was the reason why I actually yeah, changed okay. my name so if it was gonna take Everything I really mm -hmm. didn't care. Yeah. Yeah. So I was just like for my sanity, and if I can be able to do what I want to do. Okay. I'm Madrina. Even before I before I officially changed my name to Madrina, people, my fans already called me Madrina. Madrina. Okay. Yes. All right. It was okay. like an AKA already. All right. So when it happened, it was like a drastic um, decision that I made. Okay. And I, I was like, okay, cool. All right. It really gonna occur. Okay. He um actually my Vivo account was uh you know the the place where I upload my videos. The videos. Morgan yeah. obviously 
um, my the company had like access to it. I didn't have like direct access to it. So um, when I found that he didn't want me to have the access to my my account, okay, the only okay. way was for me to open a new account. A new account with a new name. 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 All right, okay. You know, I was with a label. Uh, a lot of opinions. Oh, you have to be crazy. You have to wear the red hair thing because you do that. Because so, I'm, I'm a very energetic person. My music is super energetic. So um, they were like, no, you know, as entertainers, I think you really need to look crazy. You need to sound like, you need to look like what you sound like. You know, it's just crazy. And at that point, I wasn't the one investing on my project, so I have to listen. You know, so I had started the red hair thing. It's like, oh, you have to be <laughs> crazy. Okay, and then I'm like, okay, how crazy? Because like naturally. Um, I'm not a crazy person, you get me, but I'm, I'm musically inclined, you know, what people, like creativity and stuff like that. I'm like, okay, cool. It's like me acting, you know. So, and then, you know, I took, I took up the nose rig thing, I took up the red hair thing, a lot of hair and stuff, you know, but I laugh at people a lot because I see every, a lot of things on the internet, people say stuff, I'm like, okay, these people don't even know me, you only know my songs. You don't know me, but you don't know what I'm going through. You don't know why I have to do this. You know, you know, in Nigeria or in, in, in semi industry in general, like it seems like you have to be like an attention seeker, or whatever, for people to listen. To. So a lot actually happened. You know, I was dealing with a lot myself. People didn't even know how much, you know, of a hustler that I was. So people thought like, oh, you know, music, money, and stuff. I was. I don't. I'm not from. Nobody was supporting me from home. It was basically street hustle. It was hustle for me. So you get me. So that was it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love you. Thank you for this. We have started this. I'm going to continue. I will figure out a way to keep your social media active. I'll set up one and keep it active. I'm imploring on you on my life to please help me bring back Cynthia Morgan in movement. So I just felt like it was time for me to awaken a new a new me okay. before you start getting the money back. Uh, so um like I said I didn't have like an investor. I wouldn't even call him a label. Cause like he, I paid for my accommodation. I feed myself. I I clothe myself. The only thing he was doing was shooting videos that he wouldn't even promote. Them. You get me? So that was the reason why. Yes, exactly. Because like he had his own idea. Like you know, I don't I don't promote. I don't pay to promote. I'm not really saying um, you should pay to promote stuff, but. Um, he had his own idea actually that he doesn't pay to promote anything. It was he had like you know whatever. So um, and I think it was, it actually worked for me because like I think that's one of the reasons why I have like real fans. Like I have fans. Like I have like organic people that really they love me. Like love you. Yeah, obviously they love me. But it was a lot of stress on me because like people expect so much from me, but they don't even know what I have to go through. I have to take care of family take of myself sort my bills he wasn't doing anything it was only shooting videos and then guess what and then i i have to pay pay him the money he spent on the video then after i pay all the money let's say he spends 50 million now on the video and then i pay him the 50 million now on videos and before we now start sharing um the what's it called like percentage so the reason why he took, why he's saying he took the Vivo account, he said he's claiming that I didn't pay him all the money he spent on the videos. Do you get me? No, but we can hear. You. No, trust me. Just keep talking. We can hear you. Okay. We can hear. You. Yeah. Okay. So why the move to be made? Like, um, how uh, how has it been watching? Uh, your music career that you have been at the highest level uh, just grow up like that how has it been watching your colleagues you know, uh, you know? well and how has it been for you? um at first actually it wasn't easy because like you know like naturally we we as humans we have like a timetable 
and okay. we're like, oh, when I'm in, before I'm Teddy, I want to do this, I want to do that. But at the end of the day, God, God, God has a time. God has his own timetable. So okay, okay, yeah. So at the end of the day, I just had to understand that I was going through a process, and then. I just had to sit back, relax, and follow instead of you know, you know, instead of taking the lead. I'm following now, so that's really what happened. Please tell them how you got out of this crack thing that they think you did, because I already know you didn't do it. She heard from you. I wish I did crack. <laughs> okay. It's been what does what does what does it look like? Crack. I feel I think, you. Crack is different from cocaine. If if I, but then I did hear. I heard a lot of stuff about myself that I was shocked. Though I'm actually not. I'm not really. Yeah, I was in. I, I was in. I was actually. I knew I was gonna. But it's really normal, actually. You know, like artists. Especially my kind of music, and then the type of persona that I had. Even my dad said yeah. I was on drugs. So, and I never, I don't know, I don't know what drugs, I don't know what it looks like. I've never been, probably, I'm, I, I don't think I have anyone who's ever been in, into drugs. No. Thank you very much for having time to watch my video to the end. I have a question for you in the comment section. What advice, what advice can you give to Cynthia Morgan? And drop your opinion in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. Turn on the bell notification icon to be notified anytime I drop new videos. Follow me on Instagram at Ejimozi, E J I M O Z Y. I'm always active on Instagram. Just follow me there. Thank you very much and God bless you.